Meantime, here in Indiana, Hoosiers are also feeling the impact of that mass shooting in Buffalo. Karen joins us now to talk about more about what they're saying and Karen, the impacts of this. It's felt everywhere. Yeah, just because it happened in Buffalo doesn't mean people here aren't feeling the impacts of it. So I spoke with uh, a pastor and a member of his congregation and they say, you know, like others in the black community, they are sad and they are frustrated and say that we need to have more conversations about race in America. Three down inside so far, two outside radio. The images are shocking. A gunman, police say, motivated by hate, killed 10 African Americans in a Buffalo, New York grocery store. What's going through that person's head? What's going through that person's heart? Verna Moore and Pastor Corey Let's Duncan are from City of Hope Community Church in Lawrence. When you stake the store out the day before and you go in with the purpose and the intent to kill and hurt African Americans, it's racism, and so we have to be real. We've come so far, but we look like we're going backwards again because race is not talked about. Racism is not talked about. We talk about the crime. Why isn't racism talked about more? People don't want to call a spade a spade. They don't want to be real um, as to what the nature of the situation is. Even what happened in Buffalo, people will say mental illness. They'll say, oh, he was young, his brain was not developed, or they'll come up with a thousand different excuses when the reality is, is blatant racism. Reasons why, Duncan says, he's concerned. It definitely has impacted me, affected me, um, and just made me not only more aware, but just more sensitive to how we go about even our worship services. Shooting in grocery stores, they're shooting in church, you know, where are you safe? Duncan says there needs to be more open and honest conversations on racism in America, not just in African American pulpits, but all pulpits. We have to talk about it. Uh, we have to deal with it. We can't cover it up. Because in order for racism to end. It's something that's passed down. And a lot of times people have to face even the ugly truth within themselves. You got more in here. And prevent another racially motivated attack. Yeah, and I had a very long conversation with Moore and Duncan, and you know, that's the thing they say to get past uh, the racism, the race in America, it says we need to have those uncomfortable conversations.